Robin Hood <laughs> and the quest for the Holy Basil or how I traveled a long distance just to get some special seats. Welcome to Pepper's Glowworms. So I don't really like online shopping, but fortunately I own the Deutschland ticket, which is a kind of flat rate for regional transport, and I found a real physical store that is dedicated to seats, and I am in need of a certain kind of seat, and I found it there, and I'm gonna get it today. And the and a union of uh, train drivers is uh, currently not even uh, striking today, uh, so let's go! Joink. 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 Okay, what did I get? First and foremost, a special variety of broad bean, also known as fava bean. You know, those that uh, apparently go well with census taker liver and a nice Chianti. Anyway, uh, I sampled a few varieties uh, already. Um, I was you could almost say a bit obsessed with uh, those um, fava beans for the past few months. Um, I have always liked them, they find, I find them quite tasty, but they are an interesting um, crop with a long tradition, but uh, somewhat fallen into disuse uh, recently, and I think they are nice, uh, viable, hardy, um, and tasty, nutritious, have a long tradition. So I wanted to grow some and um, as you may know, I prefer uh, gardening in a small place, in a small area. So I'm looking for a variety that doesn't grow too big and I sampled a few uh, too big. Uh, too big. Uh, that was almost uh, good. It grows only um, 
about 60 to 80 centimeters high, so it's not very high. So take this one. And another one that is uh, especially marketed to um, urban gardening and uh, gardening in small spaces. Um, there is no uh, mentioning of how high they will grow, how tall they will grow. But uh, according to the uh, website of the original breeder, um, they grow about one meter tall. It's a variety from the UK. Um, in the UK there's also a variety called uh, Sutton's Dwarf, which would be quite nice, but I couldn't get that. But uh, what I got now in my little excursion is Robin Hood. <laughs> Uh, this one uh, grows only about 50 centimeters high, so very nice. Uh, I think I will plant this one certainly, but also Oscar, which is um, also apparently good for urban gardening, and Perla. Perla, however, you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, those three I will try out this year. Um, and the Robin Hood variety was somewhat hard to get. I couldn't find it anywhere in physical stores. Um, and even in uh, websites, uh, web shops, uh, there were some, sometimes um, they were out of stock or the website didn't even show up anymore uh, that I had uh, saved in a tab for later use. So anyway, um, I got Robin Hood and it will have some company by Perla and Oscar. <laughs> Let's we'll see how that turns out. And while I was researching that little physical shop that I went to, I was uh, happy to find that they have holy basil. Two varieties, a red one and a green one. And I remember in my oh, late teens or maybe early uh, tweens. Um, I was quite obsessed with um, this plant. Um, I researched it a bit but couldn't uh, find any seeds or anything. But now I have them and I will try them out. They seem interesting and also quite tasty I think as a tea and as a spice. I will plant this for certain this year. And while I was in that store, I sampled all the nice seed packages and I found something that I thought I might try out. Um, this will be a mystery for now. Um, I will plant it later this uh, spring. And can you guess what it may be? Hmm. Uh, that will be maybe a little quiz in later videos. I will grow it out and you can guess what is growing there. So um, that's what I got there. Robin Hood. Two varieties of holy basil and something mysterious which you can find out in later videos. But uh, since most of you are probably here for the chili peppers and stuff uh, I will give you a little uh, update of at least what I will saw out this year. So yeah, my little chili breeding program of the goal to produce a small fruited super hot uh, will probably mostly focus on plants that I have already grown uh, that have overwintered. But I decided that I wanted to uh, grow some plants fresh from seeds as well. Um, and at first I thought I would simply uh, saw out this little supposed wild bird chili peppers from Cambodia. Um, according to the description on the website of the um, producer, um, the seeds that they grew their crop from, they uh, collect them from the forest because this variety is no longer grown in Cambodia and it has gone feral in the, in the jungle apparently, <laughs> according to the uh, producer, and they use those for their stock. and. That's what they grow from and um, I haven't even tried those. They apparently um, they mm, honestly don't look very appealing in this little package. 
but I will uh, at least uh, saw out the seeds, maybe try the old dried peppers as well and see what may come out from this. I had also a nice uh, result with growing out uh, seeds from a pepper that a colleague brought me from Tibet. Um, so maybe this will be uh, a nice little surprise. Um, but I also found some um, leftover seeds from the um, Ahi Charipa F2 specimen 2b, which was quite nice, and I will grow those out as well. Uh, and maybe uh, there will be some nice combination of traits, the desired small fruited super hot. Um, specimen 2b was already close, but the offspring of 2b that I grew out so far didn't live up to their ancestor. So uh, we will see. Okay. Uh, I will soon plant those seeds and maybe some other ones that I have, but so far so good and uh, happy planting and whatever.